In this video, I'm going to show how you can make Mother Pearl Dots at home perfectly every time for under $10. Let's begin. To cut your Mother of Pearl Dots, all you're going to need is some steel tubing, which you can get at a hardware store for five or six bucks, a rotary tool like a Dremel with a diamond cutoff wheel, and some spare Mother of Pearl blanks, you know, some extra pieces that might be cut off from another project that you would otherwise throw away and a drill press or a drill. I'll show you with both. So without further ado, let's zoom in and I'll show you exactly how to make the tool. On the bench, we have three sizes of tubings. We have three eighths, one quarter, and one eighth. At the hardware store, they should have a variety of sizes. Uh, usually quarter inch is most, you know, is what I use most for electric guitars. Eighth of an inch is for mandolins, ukuleles, and uh, three eighths is for larger um, acoustics and uh, acoustic electrics. I also have the Dremel tool on the bench with a metal cutoff wheel. And we have some pearl shells that are left over from uh, other projects. To start off, what you want to do is you want to get your tubing, I'm using one eighth inch, and mark out at least two inches from it. You can go a little bit less, but I like to go about two inches. You can mark that off. I've got my Dremel tool ready and my glasses, and we're just gonna cut off that two inch section. After you have it locked down in the vise, go and get your Dremel tool. And you're gonna want to just kind of clean up the top because I already cut a, a tool bit for this from this tube stock. Uh, it's a little bit rough on the top, so I'm just gonna grind that down. If you're using fresh tubes, don't worry about it. After you have a flat top, what you wanna do is you wanna mark um, five points into the top of this, uh, five equally spaced points into a pentagon. But the reason you do this is because you want to cut five teeth. Uh, I like to cut five teeth in mine just because teeth need to be semi, you know, pretty coarse. And you know, the less teeth, teeth you cut, uh, the less work you have to do. Remember, drill presses will be spinning counterclockwise. So you'll want to cut your teeth. Let's see if I can get this down. You'll want to cut your teeth this way, so that it'll when it'll cut when it spins uh, clockwise. You, you can just do this by keeping a consistent angle and remembering that the mark you made on the top, the five marks are the five tips of the teeth. This is kind of hard to see, but you want to cut your teeth something like this. That's where you're going to want to make your cut. If you make five uh, you know, pretty good cuts, you'll, you'll come up with a decent looking bit. This looks much better. Very uh, <laughs> deadly too. If you're in your finger on it, you should be able to twist it and you should be able to dig in a little bit. It means it's sharp. After doing a little bit of testing and seeing if this would quench and harden, I found out that it wouldn't. Uh, this is stainless steel tube after all, so uh, it must have just too low of a uh, carbon content to be able to harden. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to the drill press and we're gonna try it out and see if we can get, cut some dots out with it. When picking out pearl, it's important that you don't have, you, well, that you have as little um, of the shell on it, not the not the abalone, not the actual pearl, but the shell, because the shell, like this, that's more prone to cracking, and that won't yield very good dots. After you cut it, you'll need like a little screwdriver or something to get the dot out, just like that. And with a little bit of sanding, you have a perfect dot.
Now, what if you're saying, hey, Luke, I don't have a drill press. You know, I only have a, a, a hand drill to, to do this. Is it possible? And why not? I mean, as long as you keep the drill straight up and down, you should be able to do it just fine. Let's test it out. So I was able to get one dot out of um, from from using the drill, but overall, it's really hard because the bit the tool wants to skip around. It's not sturdy enough, really, to go straight down. So if you really if you really just had a hand drill, um, it might be better just to buy the dots unless you're really on a budget, in which case, you know, yeah, and these scraps are, we're going to be thrown away anyway. Uh, then, um, you know, unless you, unless you just had to make your own. <laughs> well, however, the ones in the drill press did were very easy, um, minimal work because, you know, the, the chuck was straight up and down and, and stationary, so. So it wasn't going to go anywhere, but yeah. So what did we learn? We learned that the drill does not work very like it doesn't it doesn't work great for cutting out dots. It tends to skip around. It's it doesn't have a it doesn't have like a point to follow like a normal drill that would. So thus, drill press is the obvious winner of the two, and winner by far because it makes nearly perfect dots. I made what six or seven just now on the drill press and it, it costs I don't know 20 cents 30 cents each dot but it really does add up if you have a tool and you have all these scrap pearl that you're just gonna throw away it's it, it's worth it it's worth it in the long run it pays for the the tool itself pretty quickly uh, and um, you can pick exactly what kind or what color of pearl or abalone you, you get which is really nice. So if you like this video, if you, if you found it informative or useful, uh, give me a shout. Tell me tell me what you like or didn't like about it. Uh, like and subscribe and share if you, if you feel that's important. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.